Hey everyone. So I did the tires yesterday, showed how to use the uh, manual tire changer with the modification I did. And today I'm gonna balance the wheels uh, using this old bubble balancer. It's an old, what do they call it? Aqua Speed wheel balancer. It's a static balancer, a bubble balancer. Um, Works good enough for what I do. I've never had a problem with it. Haven't had it that long. I've only used it a couple times, but uh, yeah, it's good enough. It has basically it has four adjustable feet on the bottom. So you get it. You move the handle over, level the bubble on the top. What it does is have a certain here. I'll show you. A bubble level on top. I don't know how well you can see that, but you can see it's off. But when you move this, it lifts that off, and the bubble is perfectly centered. So just pull back here. Now over there I've got some acetone, uh, some wheel weights. The acetone just for cleaning off the rim where, where I need to stick the weights. And I'll just go ahead and start. Gets the wheel on there, and you move the lever over. It needs a little bit of weight on this end. What we'll do. That's pretty good right there. So what I'll do, that's half an ounce of weights. So I'll take the acetone. We'll see where the best place to stick the weights is. Ideally, I'd want it on the other side, but it doesn't, it's not critical here. Clean that area off. Peel the sticky tape off the back of the weights. Let's go back there. There we go. And stick the weight on. Now I have different different weights. There's like half an ounce. Uh, five grams, different weights. Let's see. It's not wobbling around. Perfect. Give it a little spin to see. Try it out over here. Let it settle down. I'll bring you over so you can have a look at the at the bubble, as close as I can get you anyway. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, that bubble is perfectly centered. I'll move it so you can see it move. See? Once it settles down, it'll be perfectly centered again. There we go. Perfect. Um, again, it's just a static balance. It's not a dynamic balance where it does the wheel spinning. But I mean, for let me get this back out. There we go. For my purposes, it works just fine. Never had any problem with wheel vibration or wheel hop or any of that. And this one needs a little weight. Let's see. Let's 
try a quarter, quarter ounce here. And about there. Okay, let's try another quarter ounce on there. And again, that looks pretty good. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is the balance, the weights are almost, uh, same with that one, directly across from the, the, uh, the valve, valve stem, which I'm going to guess raise, weighs roughly half an ounce. So take those off of there, a little more acetone. Clean up that part of the rim to stick them to. You just want to make sure it's really clean wherever you stick them to. Otherwise, they'll just fly off and then your wheel spins pretty quick. Especially when you're stuck in the snow and flooring it like a crazy person. Get that to settle down a bit. You might need more than one weight in different places on the rim. Now again, that's bang on. I'll bring you guys over to have a look. Just hold on here. Let's see, let's try to get it at the right angle so you can see. There you go. It's if I go directly overhead, you can't see very well, so I'll just kind of at an angle. It looks a bit off, but it's centered when you look at it from the top. So that's about it. That's all it takes. It's that simple, that quick. I picked up this bubble balancer for 100 bucks. Um, I think it was 100 bucks. It was 100 bucks or less. And I had one of the Princess Auto or Harbor Freight style ones, that, you know, the all fun aluminum ones. It does pretty much the same. This is just a little heavier, dutier, uh, a little easier to work with, given, given that it has the, the handle. This is You leave this down when you put the wheel on it and allows the wheel to center. And then when you raise this, it lifts it off the point, so this, this is free to level. Inside there is motor oil. It keeps it from just wobbling around endlessly when you lift it. It's kind of like a, a stabilizer fluid, I suppose. I don't know how to describe it. I keep a little ammo cam in the bottom there where I keep my wheel weights and a, a wheel weight hammer, the clip-on weights and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Again, on the, on the bottom there are four leveling legs. Uh, my garage is fairly level, so I didn't have to play with it too much. So you do set it up before you use it. Set it up in the, I'm going to call it the on position. And that's it. And you're ready to go. So... That's about all. I'll finish these last two wheels and then I'll, I don't know, put them on the car. Then I'm going inside for the rest of the weekend. It's, it's terrible. I don't know if you guys can see out the window there too much. No, it's pretty bright. But as you can see by the brightness, it's, it's, it's really snowy. We've got like, I don't know, several inches of snow over the last two days. And there's been like, I don't know, I think it was like 800 accidents in the city or something yesterday alone. So yeah, people are driving like idiots. Therefore, snow studded snow tires are a good option. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, hope I demonstrated everything good. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask in the comments below. Uh, have a great day. Thanks.